Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is a PSA or a public service announcement video. It has just come to light that there is a potential issue with the new RadioMaster Ranger Nano and RadioMaster Ranger Micro Express LRS modules. I reviewed these two modules on the channel a few weeks ago and in my findings they were actually very good and I highly recommended them. However, it turns out there is actually a design flaw on these modules that has the potential to cause damage to your radio when used with an external battery. Just to explain that in more detail, these modules supply up to 1 watt of RF power and they have an XT30 power input that you can use to help preserve the battery life on your radio when using it at higher output levels. The issue is that there is no protection between that XT30 input and the voltage input from the JR bay on the back. As a result of that, there is the potential if you were to use these modules with an external battery on that XT30 connector that it would pass that voltage to your radio and cause damage. Now, at this moment in time, Radio Master have only just discovered the issue and what they're going to do is issue anyone who has bought one of these modules a new PCB with that protection in place. This was a design error and not so much an overall mistake in the sense of it wasn't something that they're not used to doing and just to be clear this only affects the nano and the micro modules. The larger 1 watt CNC module is absolutely fine. There is no problems at all and I have checked it and tested it for myself. Now, this issue is only a potential problem if you use these modules with the external XT30 power input. If you are using them simply in your radio without any external power to the module, they are absolutely fine. There is zero risk of damage. The only time that there is the potential risk is if you were to use these modules with an external battery on that XT30 input. Now, this situation is one of those things that happens from time to time. This issue has slipped past Radio Master's internal design team, it slipped past their internal testers, their external testers, and it even slipped past the KOLs and people such as me. I actually tore these modules down on my review video, and having looked back at those videos now, I can actually see what the issue is. There's basically no one-way protection diode between that XT30 and the bay input on the back. Sadly, it is something that can happen from time to time, and whilst we don't expect any manufacturer to make errors, it's also unrealistic to say that a manufacturer won't make an error, and it's not only Radio Master who's missed this, it is many, many people, including myself, who reviewed these modules and tore them down who missed it as well. The issue isn't something I would have been particularly looking for in my testing and I did actually test these modules with an external battery but that battery was 2S and I probably didn't do it long enough to cause any problems on my handset. Now, just to be clear, Radio Master have released a statement saying what they're going to do. They're going to replace the boards free of charge on anyone who have bought these modules. And if you have had a radio that has been damaged as a result of this, you should contact them and discuss the situation with them as well. It is not known if this would cause damage on every radio or just Radio Master ones. I have seen some cases of a Radio Master TX16 being damaged by this, but it is possible that other radios would have their own internal protection to prevent that happening anyway, and for them it may not be an issue. Here and now though, the advice is you do not use these two modules with the external power input and Radio Master, once they get back from New Year, will be issuing new boards to everyone involved. Now, from my point of view, I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I didn't actually spot this issue as part of my initial testing, but also to be fair to myself, no one else spotted it either, not the many thousands of people who watched that video, all the other videos out there, and it's only something that's just come to light as a result of people putting more and more use on the modules. Radio Master, 
are handling this in the way I would have expected them to. They are a fantastic company and they are handling this exactly as they need to, i.e. they are replacing the boards on the modules. The sad fact is this has come at a bit of a difficult time because most of China is shut down for Chinese New Year and whereas they'd have usually been able to put a fix in place and start getting the replacements out literally the next day or the next few days, here and now China is on shutdown for a few weeks which means a replacement board on this is going to take a little bit longer than anyone would have liked or expected but that is simply as a result of bad timing. Now I have taken down my review of those two modules for the moment until this situation is resolved. When it is resolved, I'll then put that video back up and I may do a slight re-edit of it just to explain it. As someone who recommends products on this channel, it's only fair that when there is an issue, I do highlight that issue and make sure that everyone is aware of it as well. These things aren't great. And it is sad to see it happen. However, it is what it is. Errors happen, mistakes happen. What's important is what is done about it. And Radio Master are right now handling this absolutely in the best possible way that they can. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. I wanted to put the warning out there. If you've got any questions, please do put it in the comment section. Just to summarize the situation before I finish off, the Ranger Micro and the Ranger Nano are the modules affected. The large CNC Ranger is not. I have personally now checked it isn't as well. It will only be an issue if you use these radio modules with an external battery. It is 100% safe to use these modules in your radio if they're powered from your radio. Just do not connect a battery and you will be fine until Radio Master provide a new board. Replacing that board is really actually very easy on these. I believe Radio Master is going to put a video out, but I will put a video out on this as well just to make sure everyone knows what the situation is. That's it from me. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.